Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we continue with our query course. We've already discussed a lot of the query clauses. We haven't talked about label, we haven't talked about format, but these are things that are dealt with when we go to advanced cases. For now, I can move on to a thing that is frequently used or let's say in an intermediate level and is working with dates, particularly in the WHERE clause because we've already discussed in the second lesson of this course how to filter with the WHERE clause. So let's just do a reminder and then we can see how we're going to work with dates because maybe you've already experienced the normal way of working with WHERE doesn't work with dates. So for example, I can do, let's do a WHERE with numbers. So I'm going to do a WHERE when the amount is greater than five, for example. So let's remove this row. I'm going to put this a bit bigger. Let's go to my query, tap, and let's do a query here. So I'm going to start here because sometimes selecting the data may be a bit tricky. So I'm leaving it here and just change it. It's easier to change it here, A to I. That's it. So I have my basic query as always. And what I want to do is to filter where the amount is greater than five. So you already know how to do it. So you can pause the video and do it yourselves. But let's do it all together. So I'm just going to put up where. Remember, we don't have a mandatorily to put select if we don't want to. If we want to show all the columns, then we just skip the select clause. Let's do where the column is F in this case. And we're going to say that F is greater than five. Let's close the quotation marks. And now you can see that I have only the rows where the amount is greater than five. It looks good. This, we haven't learned anything new until now, but what if I want to do the same with date? How do I do it? So here we need to use a special operator that is called precisely date. Let's say that I want only my rows where the date is April 1, 2022. Okay. So my column will be D. Let's do it here a bit bigger. So my column will be D. And I want this to be greater than what happened if we put it like this four, one, 2022. Well, it's just an error. So I need to put this in a special format. And for this, I'm going to use the date operator date. I do a space and I have to put it in a special format. The special format will be year with the four numbers month with the four with the two numbers and day with the two numbers and i have to put it inside single quotations so this will be 2022 and is separated by dash so 2022 dash month 04 dash 01 let's hit enter and now it's working okay so this is tricky at the beginning but then if you use it a lot you learn it if not you just have this video to refer to. And I could change this comparison operator however I want. Maybe I want just that it's equal to this date or that is greater or equal or that is less or equal. And if I want between two dates, then I can put that, the, that it's greater than, than April, but maybe I don't want, I just want less than June. So, going to use the AND operator and say that D, I want it to be, let's put it here so that it's bigger. Again, the AND operator and my column D should also be smaller or lesser than date. And in single quotations, 2022, 0601. That's it. So here I have only 
my April and May dates. And you could mix this with the um, other clauses that it's this date, but also that the country is whatever, or that the category is this other one. And then I could also order it by. So I could say, let's order by my T column in a descending fashion. Yeah, so we can mix it up with all the other clauses we've already learned. So this is it, a very short lesson, but I think it can be very useful in the future. We also, we, all, we don't only have date, but we also have date time. So if you have a specific hour, you can also use it with the hour and it will be, it will change a bit. But this is the most used. So the other one we can see it in a more expert video, but for now, I think this can be very helpful. So thank you so much. I hope you like it. And if you do, please consider subscribing, hitting the notifying button. And if you want a bit more, then you can go to my Patreon page or you can go to my academy, practicalsheets.com, or you'll find uh, not only the templates for all of these videos, but also exclusive courses in Google Sheets, in Google Apps Script, and in other related subjects. Thank you so much. See you next time.